have a large, uh, whoops, here we had a large uh, cut. Oh, never mind. Here we had a large, uh, <laughs> I'm still saying had. Uh, here we have a large protozoan. <laughs> All right. All right, here we have a large protozoan. Uh, unidentified type, I don't know what he is, but he's holding still for me, and uh, I'm able to get a good detailed look at the internals. They're below center, you can see a vacuole opening and closing, pulling in water and spitting it back out, probably regulating the internal pressure of the cell, because this is definitely a single-celled organism. You can see his guts kind of moving very slowly around. He is covered in cilia for swimming and for filtering water for food and that kind of thing. You can make out very faintly what I believe to be a mouth groove there along the front end. The guy's got a bad attitude. Where'd he go? I think I've lost him. Nope, no, there he is. Okay. Uh, try to center it up this time. Yeah, I believe that line there through the middle of the front end, if that is indeed the front end, and uh, that, that sort of... Oh, did you see that? I think... Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. It looked like he ingested a couple of things, so that would be the mouth groove. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's filtering the water for uh, granules of some type there, one another one. Yeah, he's packing it in pretty good there. Okay. Yeah, mouth groove. Very similar to a paramecium, but I don't think it is one. I think it's some other type of protozoan. Interesting. Look at the detail I'm pulling out on the cilia back there. They're... Uh, stationary at this point, but you can see very clearly uh, the hair-like structures of the cilia. Quite an interesting fellow. I'm very impressed. I wish I could get more of him in focus at the same time, but working at these magnifications, um, depth of field is very shallow. Very, very shallow. There one another particle there. All those green particles are apparently I don't know, some kind of debris, algae, single-celled algae or something that uh, he is consuming and uh, for food. Best guess on short notice. A uh, somewhat educated guess. Anyway, yeah, pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. This whole water sample thing I did on a whim and I'm very very pleased with the results I've seen more in a handful of hours than I have in my entire life with a microscope it was a good call very good call oh what am I looking at here that's interesting silly on the other side the bottom side maybe or top side I'm not really sure you can get an idea. Whoops, come back. You can get an idea how they move from looking at it a bit out of focus like that. I've been real lucky. I keep finding them somehow. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can even see some texture to the surface there. Notice that? I think. Either that or I'm just catching a pattern from the uh, internals. Not really sure. I think I lost him for good that time. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Really fascinating though. No, no it didn't. There he is. Um, really fascinating. Oh, and look at these thread-like bacteria. They are so packed in this spot. It's not even funny. Look at them swimming there. They may be chains of bacteria, I'm not really sure. 
I haven't been able to do a proper study of them. Not yet. Got a lot of water sample to go through, so maybe. We'll see. Anyway, I'll stop this one here. And uh, hope you enjoyed. More to follow as, as usual. And uh, hey, you know, this just gets more and more interesting as we go. Who knows what I'll find next. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Take care. Bye.